Yo, uh, type a one in the chat if you saw my recent So You Want to Play video. Anything feedback on the phone? Versus land, this is gonna be a good game. I'm a doctor of physics. Don't you call that an engineer in the business? Uh, you guys love when I do three houses in Spanish. I see you guys uh, get so happy, so happy when I do three houses. All right. Yo, uh, type a one in the chat if you saw my recent "So You Want to Play" video, Britons. I need some feedback on the format. I need a lot of format. Uh, why three houses? Because Spanish build faster. That's the only reason. Um, did you guys see it? Did you guys like the format of the recorded game? Uh, and also, like, I, I didn't do the sellout properly this time because I didn't prepare it too, mu too much. But I think getting the, the time to do the sponsor sellout is good. And also, I think keeping it off stream makes the Twitch guys also need to go there and watch. So I think it helps in that case. But was it better with the recorded game? That's the one thing I don't know. You guys think it's definitely better. Okay. Yeah, that's the one thing I, I, I honestly don't know and I need the feedback. There's the funny tr stories about what she did to Zeus. Oh, Hera? I, I didn't know. I, I knew she was uh, Zeus's wife, or at least one of them. Um, but uh, <laughs> I didn't know she was a troll. <laughs> All right, cool. Yes, from a learning perspective. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna stick with that. Hopefully that that gets you know gets good viewership. Hopefully it gets good uh, turnouts and uh, keep rolling with that kind of style. I'll be able to bang them out once a, once every Saturday. Now that it doesn't have to be on stream, it's a lot easier for me to just do them at my own uh, at my own pace. Um, I'm not sure whether the people that don't like it will speak up right here now. Uh, well, if there's constructive criticism, I think people are mature enough to, to, to let me know about that. Especially if I ask, like if you guys, if there's anything wrong with the format, let me know and now I'll, I'll surely work on it. Next Vietnamese, I think next would be Byzantine since I promised that and I never kind of went through with it. Yeah, the next one should be Byzantine here, guys. Um, I opened a lot of scouts. I don't think you want to open scouts in this matchup though. Spanish are way weaker than Hunts, by the way. They're way, way weaker. But this is a uh, maybe problematic. Not sure what to do here. Maybe Man at Arms makes some sense. Man at Arms makes the most sense. Pike Skirm opening. Nah, no, that's that's bad. Really bad. My map looks okay though. If I wall, hold on. I'm gonna have to make formulate a plan here real quick. I can't even bother trapping a scout. It's not about mechanics. This, this matchup will not be about not be about mechanical gameplay. Maybe about strategical gameplay. Oh, this side, this side. Us here, and maybe we'll concede the main gold and take the back gold, and we'll wall like that. But then, and I also have oh, I also have back gold, back gold, back stone as well. So let's do just that, okay? Um. I'm not going to wall too early, but I want to wall early enough that I don't get hit with scouts. And open men at arms, that's my plan. Yeah. Three on wood, that tells me he wants to open scouts. So, I know he wants to go scouts, and I know that I want to uh, go men at arms, so... Already some very, uh, patient coming right now. My first house out there now. I didn't get my barracks after it. Didn't hit my village yet. I don't want to show him the barracks necessarily. Center. You gotta also think, do I wanna take this this gold or this gold? It makes more sense to take this one though. Maybe walling this side first. Uh, and I might just walk to my TC. Yeah, it makes sense. I, I have a pretty good plan right now already, which is really important. Because like I said, if I'm gonna win this matchup, it's gonna be based on strategy. It's not gonna be on micro. 
and it's not going to be on uh, <clears throat> on just getting out some really good early aggression. I have to play defensively and uh, and and plan and secure my map properly because Huns are such a better array Takes it to twenty one pop straight archers build despite the Reddit exit opinion. I tried it and won the first time I played it. Yo, Seabox, good stuff, man. Yeah, dude. Don't listen to those Reddit guys. Not 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 in not in terms of build orders. They might know what they're talking about for some some good memes and um, you know and maybe keep you up to, up to date on the new patches and whatnot. But I don't think the Reddit guys are too well versed in the build order department. No, I'm gonna have to get it right there as well a little bit. Right, let's get my scout back as well. I scout right back there. Myself. Yeah, this scout is outside my walls. Cool, so I'm basically fully walled now. I got the minute arm rush and I might follow it up with one range archers. I might also just full wall behind it and, and see what else I can play afterwards. But uh, yeah, right off the bat looking pretty decent here. I don't even know if I want to follow it up with archers. He knows I'm doing minute arms, he knows exactly what's up, but I don't really mind. He does know. I was thinking if the scrims could be okay though. So much out of time. I'm already gonna force him to scrimmage the men at arms here. It's really cool. I'm fully walled in a creative manner as well. I'm pretty good. I'm a bit hungry right now. I might get some mac and cheese after this. Have some of those upstairs. Look at that! Can I go around? I thought there was a hole, I was about to panic. I was like, no! No, we're fine. So the question is, where do I want to go like, for behind this? Should I go maybe... Maybe unique in it? Maybe conks? Maybe knights? I have two options that are pretty solid. Options that are pretty reasonable. Sup at Hera, all good. Yeah, hey 10,000. Thanks for the five months. Yeah, I'm doing well. How are you, man? All good. Cannot complain. Hit a stable? Mm, this force is faster to repair. A stable here, you can just let it burn for a while. So it's actually a mistake to hit the stable in this case. This idols villagers much much easier. And it keeps him kind of on his toes a little bit as well. I agree hitting the stable sometimes is good, but in this case it's not. I'm going for archers, so I'm not gonna go for conks, I'm gonna just go knights on it. Any ranges one. Stable. I just don't want to range for now. Yeah. I can try something balls like running in, because my mana arms are going to be useless anyways. But actually, that's typically not the best play. Like, typically you want to keep the army buying your time. 
think that's a mistake I do. I tried to like get instant value for my army, whereas just keeping them alive sometimes pisses your opponent off. Is worth it. Oh, rough for Zul. Thanks to the tier one for five months. Really appreciate. It. Yeah, look, look at this. This is so much, so much good work here. I'm buying a lot of time, forcing him to actually take this engagement instead of just going straight to my base. And that's worth more than me running into his base, honestly. It's worth way more than that. So I'm gonna go two, two stable uh, knights behind this. Down gold. Pretty much perfect build builder here. If I say so myself. Definitely need some houses though. Maybe now I can try to run in after I've bought all my time. Alright. Not doing horse collar was a bit, a bit yikes though. It's not really part of the plan, not gonna lie. Yeah, okay, no, no running in is happening. But a lot of out of time there, like that's again kinda worth it. Um Times the crumbs though, thanks for the tier one man, really appreciate that bro. Looks like he's just gonna break in here. Got with this guy. Killed an archer with my minute arms again. Kept them alive and I actually got some uh, some payback from them. Very right, cool. I'll get a market here in time, hopefully. More idle time from these minute arms. Again, so much damage being done from just a few minute arms. Really nice. I'll just finish the market, actually. There's no reason not to finish it. Now the question is with my knights, do I spend time cleaning up his archers or do I go straight to his base? I think going straight to his base makes more sense. If I can stay at, safe at home. Let's, let's see if I can do that. <clears throat> no, I don't think I can. Okay, I can. He's running away. Ice A with you. Thanks for the tier one. Welcome to the stream, bro. Alright, now the cast is just in for him. And he's gonna have some crossbows. I wanna get my knights inside his economy if possible though. And I might have to go for um another town center now soon. Okay, town center here makes the most sense though. Um just because it's you know, protecting that whole side of the map. And then town center here makes the most sense as well as the next step. Yeah, I want to try to just run straight into his eco. Also, husbandry is gonna be super important here. Probably more important than more knights because I need to run away from cab archers all day. I'm, I'm gonna just run straight into possible. It looks like he's fully walled. He, he, kn he knows that, that was a possibility, or rather, he knew it was a possibility. Try attacking on the bottom side. Though. There he is. Losing those scouts is like awkward for him. Those will help for, for relics later. I don't think he's too happy about that. Got that upgrade. But Jack Norshay is actually gonna step to the stream. I'm, I'm just kind of buying time now. Um, next question is like, do I want a skirm transition? Maybe that would be good. Maybe third town center first makes more sense. I don't think his cabbages can even hit me, honestly. Again, hunt, hunt is the better sit here. So like, if I'm behind a little bit, it's okay. As long as I'm not dying.
It's actually going back. So interesting. I'm scared of my knights. Even though he probably shouldn't have been scared there, he is a little bit scared. I'm pretty sure he could have easily gone in there with the cab archers at least. That was maybe a little bit of a misstep from him. Alright, I got a couple scorpions now to defend myself against the cab archers. Like at this point, I don't even care if he goes in. I have two scorpions, anyways. Done alright. Can I just go straight paladin here? If I don't lose any bills, I'll be fine. Seize the scorpion now. Gotta take it out, I think. Might. Not when he sees two, though. I think two is his limit. I might be able to trap him actually here. Car could be nice. And mining camp is gone, maybe. Really awkward mining camp. Okay, I lost this. He really wants to force on this side. Try going for a faster imp again. I'm just gonna camp my uh, building. Yeah, idling villagers, but I'm gonna get out now. Probably gonna come back. Yeah, oh man, I don't know if that's a good decision for me to go in that deep. Even get out somehow.
Okay, I have to just go in. I don't think that's a good idea though. He's switching into a Cavalier though, that's so good for me. Why is he switching to Cavalier? I don't know. Just playing how how Cavalier he would win. I guess he maybe is expecting me to go skirmish. Oh. Well, that was maybe a mistake for me. Yeah, I can just delete all my walls here. I have to concede a little bit here. Yeah, and I don't think he's up to imp, so I just have to wait now. He's gonna come at me hard. This is a bit, this is a mistake for him, he's diving too deep. Oh, but he's killing all my shit here. Cleaned up and his all in cast is just dead now. I just have the stronger units. Always check idols after you get raided. It's a big deal here. Stronger than him, even if he has a little bit of heal. Actually, he's got a little bit too much mass here. Oh, I'll try to fight it. The debate works really well here. I actually lost the fight. I continue booming here because I'm not. I don't have the best economy here, honestly. How do I continue booming? I'm gonna try and leave, but I'm not gonna let him leave. Alright, that's, that's gonna be the game ender. There's pikes now, but I mean, pikes with cavalier is not. You're not countering really anything right there with that. Well, it's a bit of a problem. That will help solve the problem. Can't make my castle, bro. Or anywhere. Anywhere there is fine. He'll call the GG in the next two, min next two minutes. For sure. Getting Fletcher for my castles now. Yeah. Next 30 seconds even. Yeah, that was a really good game. That was I think that, that, that showcased a really nice strategy for me. And uh, it also showcased good um, good positioning of buildings. Like getting that getting that right side wall, because I don't think my map is necessarily good. Like I had only 
one back wood line, had a really thin wood line here. I had to go really far from my second wood line. I don't think my map was good, but I think it showcased how I strategically built my map. And uh, that was important. That was really important. Good game. A lot to learn here, man. Uh, Spanish, not the best civilization. Hunts, one of the better civilizations for one of Arabia. And just able to strategically make Spanish work, work really well here. Men at Arms was a good decision to open up with as well. I forced a lot of response with that, and then going Knights was solid as well. Cool, cool, cool.